That's not the way, BG. You'll bring the whole military machine down on our heads. Extraordinary actor. Frank Silvero. Very few ever knew he was black. If you enjoy watching movies and television, I'm sure you recognize this man's face, a phenomenal and extremely versatile actor. This man played every role you can imagine. He appeared in some of Hollywood's biggest films. He guest starred in television's most greatest shows. He was a highly successful black actor in the 50s and the 60s who, because of his light-skinned appearance, transcended race and ethnicity in his performances. Frank Silvera was cast in Latin parts, Native American. He played mostly white roles, and every now and then he would play what he really was, black, and no one ever knew the difference. A little known fact is that Silvera was the first black man to kiss a white woman in a major Hollywood film, Stanley Kubrick's The Killer's Kiss in 1955. In fact, no other black actor during the 50s and 60s worked more than him in television and film, not even Sidney Poitier. Today, you might compare his body of work to the likes of Sam Jackson. Frank began his career on stage with the Harlem American Negro Theater and with the Actors Studio, studying alongside Marlon Brando and Steve McQueen. He would eventually become the founder of theater companies of his own, including the Theater of Being and the Harlem-based Frank Silvera's workshop, co-founded with a young Morgan Freeman. It's time to recognize one of the most versatile black actors to ever take the stage and screen. Black History Mini Doc salutes the great Frank Silvera.